Hello, I'm Alice Bradley. And I'm Eden Kennedy. And we're here to tell you all about childbirth on Mom Ed. Yes, and in this episode we are discussing afterbirth, the moment your child has just been born, and it's time to celebrate! It's time to party! Woo! Celebrating with us today is our guest, Adriana. Hi. Who is the mother of two, two, two lovely girls, yes. children. So two we girls. are going to drink some champagne because we're just looking for an excuse to drink some champagne. Do it. Because why not? Because somebody, probably a baby's been born somewhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Right this moment. Uh, right now. It's, it's happening as we speak. All right. So here you go. Thank you. Adriana. And Eden, would you like some? No, you know, I have uh, some placenta smoothie, actually, I can hear that's being uh, whipped up right now that we're going to try later, so no champagne for me at the moment. I'm that's gonna... great. <laughs> All right, so you get two then, yeah, because right. you have two children. And because I'm not drinking placenta smoothie. You and know. because you're not drinking. Well, Just to reward you for not drinking You might want to think about it. There are some benefits. We um, will get into that when, my, um, when the gagging stops for me. Well, let's talk a little bit about the placenta? The, what the placenta is. Let's and talk then you about can it. Let's talk placenta talk. talk with it. Um, it's actually an amazing organ that develops in your body. Mm -hmm. um, it's an organ within your uterus that gives the baby nutrients while it's growing and it, and it takes away the baby's waste. And right. then when you're done with it, when you're both done with it, you push it out right after the baby. Yay, placenta! I know, it's amazing. It is amazing. It's good. So, <laughs> did you? <laughs> so, you kept yours. I did. Because yes. you're going to have some in a smoothie. Yes, there I, we, uh, we, I, I did manage to retain a little bit, so we can try it. Um, but there actually are some benefits to retaining the placenta and ingesting it. The, it it's said to help mitigate the fluctuations in hormones yeah. that are believed to cause postpartum depression. Okay. So it's sort of a natural way to even you out. Um, so be useful. Yeah. Okay, but you put other and things in Aisha, the smoothie. Aisha, could I get the smoothie now? Thank okay, you. Okay, but it's not, we should specify, it's not just placenta and ice. Right, no, no, things. there's fruit. Yeah, you don't. There's you wouldn't just fruit. just grind Some it up and milk, drink perhaps. it. Yeah, that would be difficult. You probably don't that do would be more like a pate, milk. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Placenta pate might be an actually one way to do it. You don't you, have to do it oh. in a smoothie either. Um, some people will dry it, and you can um, make until make it into a powder, and you can get empty right. gel caps and. Uh, fill the gel caps with dried placenta and okay. then just take it like a vitamin. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even know that there's anything else in here. You can hide anything in a smoothie, right? So You can hide most things in a smoothie. <laughs> Except for maybe the <laughs> organs you've expelled from your own body. I kind of feel I like I think. expelled it for a reason. When your baby's first born, you feel like it's doing great, and you don't always feel great right away. What did you think when, the, when you were presented so my doctor, who was so great, um, even though I was completely out of it, he put the baby on my belly, mm -hmm. and I, I think I just laid there for a second, and he said, hold her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just look at her, hold her. Right, right. Yeah. hold her, right. so I no, put my arms her. around her, but to be honest, I was just so exhausted. I, I really, I wasn't, I couldn't quite bond the way mm -hmm. that I right. thought you were supposed to or that I, that I was going to. And right. I think if so many women are out of it, that yeah. they're like, what? What is oh, this yeah. thing that I have to yeah. hold? And sometimes, frankly, they look a little funny, babies. Yes, that is a little right. gooey. Not, not go yeah. They the look like would indicate. they often look like that. Sometimes yeah. they're gooey. They've got uh, that the white sort of protective uh, skin sure. stuff. If they're born a little at the beginning of term, if they're born later, they can absorb that that yeah. uh, the goo, the vernix. I have more photos of how they look. Oh, tell us. Let's see. Here we go. Alan says photos. First, I have photos. First of all, we have. The cone head. The cone head. Which Aww, completely baby. cracks me up. Babies get that, a little cone headed after squeezing through the birth canal. That is a cone headed baby. And their, their skull plates yeah. are not fused, sure. so they can do a little squishing and then come back to normal. Okay, moving on. This is an adorable baby. Henry. All right, this is my son, oh, who okay. is about a few hours old at this point, and he did not look like this. He's smushed. Like a day later, he was not this smushed. His face got just, face is but he was just like, face he has such an angry old flattened. man expression, yeah. so they're annoyed, and they look like angry yeah. old men. And then a couple of days later, you clean them up, yeah. and they look like Jackson. No, Jackson's a couple of days old. This is Eden's this child. This is my son. Specify. This, he's probably two or three days old at this point, but right. he still looks a little beat up. He's, his face is a little puffy, he's but plotting. his nose is... He's plotting in this plotting. photo. Yeah. He looks like Kaiser Sose in this picture, right. in this photo. And sometimes they get like those bumps on their faces too, right? Yeah. And my daughter's had the white bumps all along here. Yeah. And then uh, they also have the skin peeled off. I mean, they look pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty they're rough. They yeah. can look a little rough. 
rough. Things little, can look get a little rough. Recovery. And almost always, babies look like that. Winston Churchill. Yes. That's, so they're grumpy. We thought that was pretty funny. They smell of scars. And they do. <laughs> <laughs> and they look at you like that. Immediately after birth, the medical staff will take your baby's measurements and administer an APGAR test. APGAR is an acronym for Appearance, Pulse, Grimace, Activity, and Respiration. After looking and listening to these factors, the doctor will assign your baby a score, with 7 to 10 being the normal range. The baby's foot is pricked to run a blood test for phenylketonuria, or PKU, a genetic disorder relating to a baby's ability to break down phenylalanine. Eye drops are administered to fight infection, and a vitamin K injection is given to aid clotting mechanisms. Your baby may also have a hepatitis vaccine, hearing test, blood sugar test, or ultrasound. Well, thank you, Adriana, for coming. Thank and you so much. Telling us your experience. Thank you for having me. Very interesting. Yeah, you're welcome. Our next episode is all about C-sections, so I hope you'll join us.